Hey everybody, back again. Just thought I'd share another idea with you guys. Uh, this is what I call the spark plug fuel injector. It's like Stan Mares basically. Um, that's where I got the concept from and the idea from. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, and so what we have is a spark plug and a gas chamber all in one. And how it's going to work is over here on this end, you'll see that there's the spark plug wire nipple. That's where the uh, spark plug wire will connect to the spark plug. And then right here, we have the hydrogen gas slash like ambient air nipple inlet. And that goes into the, the airspace uh, chamber. Basically, you'll have the, uh, the spark plug running through the center of the chamber. Then it'll narrow down on the end and it'll have threads as you can see. And the threads will just thread directly into your engine where your spark plugs go. So it's going to replace your spark plug um, is what it'll do. So just give you a better view of everything. And you can read what I have written down. Um, this basically explains what everything is. So what's going to happen at the end, um, right here is the few, the, uh, the HHO gas will be injected into the chamber, then it'll come out the end right here, and while it comes out the end there's going to be the spark that ignites the gas, and then it'll push your pistons and make your engine go. Um, so I do have a better diagram of it, let me go to the diagram where it's the full thing. Okay, this is basically the full diagram of how it'll work connecting from your um, cell all the way up to the uh, spark plug. Um, so, what we have here is we have our cell, our HHO cell. Sorry, this camera's not focusing. Um, but, anyway, you get the idea. We have our cell, then we have the tube that goes over here to our heat chamber. That basically heats up the gases. And then you have the other, the other tube connecting from that going down into our uh, laser chamber. This is where our laser is going to come in at. And then, uh, as you can see, the light's going to beam across back and forth. It's actually going to be a closer beam, so that there's virtually no space in between each beam. Um, I'll have to diagonal it pretty perfect in order to do that. And I'll have multiple lasers just to make sure that the uh, that the beam will completely convert all the gas, will ionize all of the gas. That way when it combusts, it doesn't turn back into water. Um, kind of like Stan Mayer's had designed, so. And it'll go from there as ionized gas into the injection chamber. And then explode, so. Um, just, and oh, and then right here on the end, that's where we'll have our spark plug wire connecting to the spark plug, and then the wire will connect to the distributor, of course. So this is kind of an internal look at the heat chamber. Basically, it's going to be a stainless steel rod with holes drilled through the center of it. And then I'm going to have a coil wrapped around, um, basically connecting to the negative and positive of the battery to short it out. I'm going to have a controlled unit hooked to it, though, so that will control the amount of like uh, current draw that's going to it, thus controlling the amount of heat that will go to it. So. Um, it's basically the process that Stan Mares used to run his car on the hydrogen, I'm sorry, off of water. So I uh, hope you guys like it. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Um, but just thought I'd share this idea with you guys. And have a great day. Bye.